हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो वी आर सीइंग क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 फॉर ऑलरेडी लाइव यू कैन जस्ट गो एंड वॉच ऑफ टुडेस वी बाय वीकली कांटेस्ट 11125 अह सो व्हाट दिस बट या लेट्स सी इट्स एक्चुअली एन इजी प्रॉब्लम कंसीडरिंग यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी वर्क्स इट्स वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स इन व्हिच द मेन क्रक्स इज द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी लेट्स सी हाउ एंड व्हाट आई मीन बाय दैट इज इट्स अ प्रॉब्लम लाइक यू सी वी सी अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ग्राफ्स डीपी बाइनरी सर्च इट्स अ टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी प्रॉब्लम लेट्स सी हाउ सो वी आर गिवन अ मिनिमम वी हैव टू फाइंड मिनिमम ऑपरेशंस टू एक्सीड थ्रेशोल्ड वैल्यू नाउ द पार्ट 1 वाज अ वेरी सिंपल पार्ट इन व्हिच यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमूव सम वैल्यूज अप टू लेस देन के लाइक यू कैन जस्ट सी दैट इट्स अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन we uh, will not have that video but yeah in this question uh, we are saying that we are given a zero indexed integer array called as nums and an integer value k now in one operations what i can do is i can again the problem itself is saying take the two smallest integer values x and y in nums whatsoever right now are the two smallest values again are the first thing which clicked my mind is to grab some two smallest possible values are either i can use a set Or I can use a priority queue. Now I can now nowhere it is written the values will be distinct. So for sure instead of set I use a multi set. So I can either use a multi set I can use a priority queue which is min heap to grab two smallest element in the shortest possible time. Okay, and I have not read, read the question. Furthermore, I am just reading line by line and thinking from my mind what all things maybe I can apply in future. So I have to grab two smallest element. I'll use a multi set or a priority queue. okay now i have to remove those elements again the data structure which can grab elements grab minimum elements and remove minimum elements simply both are are both priority queue multi set will actually work here and then i have to add this value which is whatsoever i have grabbed grab the minimum value whatsoever is minimum multiply that by 2 and add the positive value and then i will simply have to add that back in my array anywhere i can add so location doesn't matter now adding back also simply both priority queue and multi set do it in log in log in time so it is the things seem simply sorted i'll simply use a priority queue or a multi set and i can simply solve my answer so i have to return the minimum number of operations i have to need and again are in operations who is counting minimum i'll count operations itself because operations are itself fixed that grab minimum element just grab it remove it from the data structure then simply apply operation and put it back grab minimum remove re, re, remove remove from the data structure apply operation put it back as i am grabbing the element if i see the minimum element value if it, it itself is more than equal to k then i will simply stop Because it's a minimum element value. If it is itself more than equal to k, then for sure all the other elements will always be more than equal to k. So the minimum number of operations doesn't matter much. It is the number of operations I have to tell. Hmm. So are in are you saying that I will repeat, keep on repeating this process, which means I have some two elements, minimum element, which means five, ten. Let's let's take this example only. Let's take this example only that I have. these so i'll just put all of them in a data structure which is priority queue or multi set let's take for our simplicity let's take multi set because it is very easy to write multi set bracket end and s done priority we have to write priority queue end greater end all that stuff that's so big so let's use multi set okay so i'll use 1 2 3 10 and 11 1 2 three, 10 11 so in my multi set i grab two minimum elements Simply s dot begin will give me the minimum element because okay first minimum element one next minimum two so you know one thing this operation is minimum of x and y I am saying itself the first element will be the minimum the next will be the next greater one so this will be my v one this will be my v two for sure okay now what I what operation I have to do is operation is multiply that by two multiply the minimum element by 2 and add that with maximum so it will become a 2 plus 2 equal to 4 and push the 4 in my multi set okay push 4 in my multi set now keep on repeating the process okay operation done are one one operation done okay one operation done i'll repeat the operation grab minimum elements okay v1 v2 i grab v1 will become 3 v2 will become 4 
मल्टीप्लाई मिनिमम बाई टू बिकम अक्स एट बुट ऑफ दम बिकम अ टेन पुश दैट बिकम अ टेन पुश दैट Now grab the two. Okay, sorry. Now grab the two minimum element. Okay, I'll grab ten and ten, ten again. Remember, operation done at two so 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 far. Ten and ten. But bro, your task was to keep on applying the operation until you have got okay. Until all elements are less. Now you can see that you grab two minimum elements, and he is the most minimum element, and he itself is more than or equal to k. bro simply stop your answer is 2 your answer is 2 and that's your answer which is 2 itself so now you so so are in that simple super simple i'll just repeat this process until my answer is done ha huh. but 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 uh did you see a catch here actually frankly saying you can simply apply it and it will work but the interesting fact is that did you see that how many operations you might end up performing which means If I have a one here and one here, and then let's say a very big element, let's say one thousand, or let's say very big element. Let's see what's the biggest range which I can have. Uh, biggest range I can have is one e nine. So let's say I have one e nine here, one e nine here. Let's say I have these elements here itself. Now you will see. I'll grab the minimum element v one, v two, or let's say I have one, 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 one. I have only one. So let's imagine that. Okay. And last one element is one e nine, which is the maximum element, right? So V one and V two, V one you will grab as one, V two you will grab as one. Then you you will remove them. Okay, you will multiply that by two, add it and push that back. Okay, V one, V two. So two one, add it, push them back. Okay, three. Now you might end up getting confused. Okay, Aryan, I will still remove this element. But one thing which you should make sure is, any time you are removing an element, you are, you remove two element. Apply operation push back just one element. So for sure, in one operation, one element is for sure getting removed. One element is for sure getting removed, and I know I have just two into one in five elements. So I know maximum operations I will I will end up applying like this. Okay, remove elements, apply operation, and then push back. I will apply at max this two into one in five times. So that's a fact that you should be knowing. Okay, by complexity, which means operation I will be applying. This getting element from the priority queue or the multi set applying operation, which means minimum into two plus maximum, and then pushing it back. This operation will be at max n times, and n is one e five. And for every operation, which means getting the element, getting the minimum element, log n. Applying operation over fun, pushing it back, log n. So for every operation, I am taking log n time. So time complexity for this entire operation will be n log m. And minimum doesn't make sense. Just stop at a point. <laughs> Just stop at a point where Your minimum value itself, itself, which is v one in your case, is itself becomes more than or equal to k. Just stop here, doing any operations further on. So I'll do exact same operation in the code itself. I'll take a multi set. Now R in why you took a long long because you will see the elements are one e five and the max value is one e nine. So even if you start adding stuff, which means simply if I do a one e nine into two plus one e nine, huh? It will simply start exceeding integer limit. So this value, although you can put a condition, okay, what if the it exceeds the value? But good, uh, good thing. Please take a long, long. If you don't know, I am uh, like about to bring a video in which this small bug costed a company three seventy million dollars. This, this, this is small. This small bug, which means taking a long, long. Sorry, two, two. They they took a integer instead of long, long. And this small issue costed them three seventy million dollars. Cool. Uh, I'll not spoil um, the suspense, but yeah. Uh, so what you will do is simply you will push the elements in the multi set. Although you can have a st and you can simply push back. But yeah, I took a entire new array and then push it back. Then you will simply keep on going until you have two elements to grab from the multi set. As you keep on grabbing from the elements, you will simply grab the most minimum element, which is v one, and then. Remove remove it from the multi set, which is s dot erase that specific value. See, this is the this is the iterator, and this is addressing that iterator and giving us the value of that iterator. Cool. Now, in a multi set, you can have same values, so please don't do a s dot erase v one. Do a s dot erase the iterator to that beginning value. And the same way, I'll simply do for v two. Grab the next minimum value. 
Now I'll simply grab the new value which is v1 into 2 plus v2 and then push that back or insert that back in my multi set. And I know this is one operation being done, so simply increase the answer. Answer is the number of operations you are doing, and you want minimum number of operations. So as soon as your v1, which is the minimum value, it becomes more than or equal to your k. Please stop because if the minimum value itself is more than equal to k, which means all the other future values are also more than equal to k. Simply, this will be your answer, and that's going to be your simple. Time is O of n log n, and you can see space as you know that you are just inserting an element in your multi set. So in the very beginning, you are pushing in n elements in your multi set. So space will be O of n for you, and that's going to be time capacity. So cool, thank you very much. Goodbye, take care, bye. That's a good problem, considering like not hard, but a good thing to think of the time complexity. Bye-bye.